Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with yet another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it, guys. Now, today what we're going to go ahead and talk about is we're going to talk about the game for Seattle and um, the Cardinals game that's actually coming up. Now, you're probably Bruh. actually saying, wait, wait, Mike, what are, what are you Bruh. doing? We just talked about this last video. I'm fully aware of that. What I'm trying to say is... I'm going to talk about the Seattle game and Cardinal game and how much of a big effect this game is on the rest of the season and how I feel this is an actual must-win game if we want to get some sort of momentum for the future and the later part of the season. Guys, let's go ahead and get it. guys thank you so very much for uh, sticking around so you can watch this video so like I was mentioning before what I want to talk about is the big importance of this game the Seattle Seahawks versus the Arizona Cardinal game uh, which is week four um, this could go either way <clears throat> we can fail and lose and be 0-3 and 1 or we can rally and actually get a win and then be one, two, and one. Now that sounds so much better than zero, three, and one, guys. As a Arizona Cardinal fan, that sounds so much better. Now, do I think we're gonna win? Uh, I mean, seventy-five percent says no, unfortunately. And and the only reason why I say that is because the football that we've been playing so far, Cliff Kingsbury. I still haven't seen your secret weapon offense that nobody can stop. Just FYI, if it's if it's out there, we can really use it right now. And um, if it's the running game, please get that going, just FYI. But like I was mentioning before, we really, really need this game. Um, if we somehow squeak this win out, now I don't want to blow out. I don't, I don't, you know, all we ask is for a win. That's all we ask for as Arizona Cardinal fans. So um, if we can actually get this win somehow, the schedule after this game actually seems pretty awesome. Like if we can get on some sort of roll, I think it's, it's, it's doable. So let's say, for example, we did win this Seattle game. After them is going to be the Bengals. Pretty winnable, I'd say. Um, after that is going to be the Falcons. Now, they are a tough team. They are going through their own struggles right now. Um, but, eh, I mean, they most likely will beat us. But after them, we have the Giants. And then after them, we have the Saints with hopefully no Drew Brees. So at least three out of those four, I feel like they're actually winnable games. So if we can somehow, somehow win this game, that would just be so awesome. And especially because it's our first division game of the year, we really need this. We so need this game so far. Um, I don't know. I mean, I just would hate to get that, you know, that text message. I have a diehard uncle. I have a diehard Seahawk fan in my family. He's my uncle. He lives in Seattle along with his uh, wife, which is my aunt. And I just, I just honestly, I don't want to get that text message in the, you know, Monday morning saying, "Hey, you guys suck." <laughs> I I've been getting that for for five, six years straight. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of Seattle winning in our in the nest, in our own home. It's just it needs to change. And Cliff Kingsbury, you can make that change starting this coming year. Let's break that streak and get the win for the Arizona Cardinals for your you fans that are for. We're just dying for something positive to happen right now. Um, so there's that, and 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 I really want Steve Kime to start doing something. I want him to to make more big splash plays. I'm. What I'm, I guess what I'm really trying to say is I'm tired of Seattle Seahawks getting the big names out there for the, the picks that they're actually getting them for. Like, why, why can't we get that? But basically, you know, Seattle with Jadavion Clowney and they also got Ziggy Ansa. Once they're actually, you know, I feel like gelling with each other, they'll actually be pretty, pretty dangerous as far as a uh, pass rush. Um, there's that. And then, you know. 49ers got Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, don't get it twisted. I did not want Jimmy Garoppolo at all. But that's just a big splash play that they actually went ahead and did. And they also got Richard Sherman, which was at one point one of the best cornerbacks in the league. Um, and then we have, you know, the not, the dominance in the L.A. Rams, which honestly, it seems like this coming season, 
I mean, this actual season, they seem like they're still going to be dominant. They are st still 3-0 and right now. So, yeah, th they seem pretty dominant right now. <clears throat> so, guys, let me know what you guys think and how much of a big impact this game is for you, for the Arizona Cardinals, and how much you think this is. I personally think this is a must-win game. Yeah, that's all I gotta say. It's, it's a it's a must win game. So guys, that's what I so far my um, my overview of the the season so far is honestly kind of disappointing, uh, especially with the big hype of Kyler Murray. It it's failed to meet expectations. I just want to go ahead and put it that way. But after this game, we're only one fourth of the way in. So there's still some time to turn around this season and make it positive for your fans, guys. Go ahead and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Um, if you please like and if you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and you make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell, guys. That's pretty much all I got for this episode, guys. I'm out.